Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm home. Um, I'm just doing my skincare before we go out. So we got back on Friday night. Um, we got back at lunchtime. Um, it was a long old flight, although it was uneventful, just, just long, you know, just long. Um, a bit of a crazy mad dash uh, in Dubai from one aeroplane to the next. We had to go on a buzz. It was all... We didn't have time to sit in the lounge or anything. We literally flew through and straight onto the second plane, which is good in one way, but I could have done with an extra half an hour, really. I think the plane was running a little bit late, 10, 15 minutes, and we only had a two hour connection. So that was crazy. Um, so yeah, my son-in-law picked us up from the airport at lunchtime on Saturday. We got back, um, we did some unpacking. Um, I threw some stuff in the wash, although I'd come, because we stayed with family, I'd come back from my sister-in-law's with, you know, minimal dirty clothes. Everything was washed and dried before we left sort of thing. So that was good. Um, I've put all my summer stuff in the spare room because I'm still thinking about what to put away. I'm hoping to get rid of my jumpers. That was my plan. As you can see, I've got a jumper on. Um, this is not such a heavyweight one though. I think what I'm going to do, um, over the next week or so is have a sort out of my wardrobe, um, move the very thick, heavy, wintry stuff, replace it with some spring and summer stuff. And I'll sort of try and film that for you as well. I think that would be a good, a good video to film. So I'm going to do that. Um, this is going to be part of the weekly vlog. So you'll see that this on Sunday um, and Tuesday, I will have a March favourites video up for you. So I know I've been missing a little bit, but I did my best while I was away. And you know, sometimes it's really difficult to, to sort of have your phone out continually. You kind of want to be in the moment, you know what I mean? Um, so I, was, I did film some bits for you, as you saw, but also there's some bits I just didn't want to film. I wanted to sort of save savor the memories and enjoy the moment. So yeah, so there's that. Um, just put some eye cream on. Um, what else? Oh, when I got off the plane, uh, I, in my jet lag state, somehow managed to delete my SIM on my phone. I used an eSIM while I was away and instead of deleting the eSIM, I deleted my own SIM. <laughs> so yesterday morning at 10 o'clock, Sunday, it was Sunday yesterday, today's Monday, I had to go dashing up to um, the e shop and they were brilliant actually. They just put me a new SIM in and it was sorted in two minutes. So that was good. Just meant I could keep the same number. Um, I was so relieved because, you know, it's like you get off the plane, you switch your phone on and you want it to work and it just didn't. And I was just, I was not a happy bunny. So yeah, so that was that. Bit of a traumatic start, but never mind. So we did, we managed to stay awake on the Saturday until sort of half eight, nine o'clock. And then we slept through till 5.30 in the morning. We were both awake at 5.30. It was fine. It was fine. It was just a very early start. Uh, last night by half past seven, we were both really flagging. Um, what am I looking for? Makeup. And um, we were both really tired. So we uh, went up to, upstairs about half past seven, put the TV on, sort of to try and keep us awake till at least half eight, nine o'clock. And we did, we, did, we did get to half past eight. Um, and then we just couldn't stay awake any longer and we went to sleep. I woke um, sort of two o'clock in the morning, something like that. Uh, I remember, bearing in mind I'd been asleep since half past eight and then I just dozed really for the rest of the night and we woke up naturally about six o'clock this morning. So I'm hoping this evening we are able to just go to bed at an, more of a normal time. You know, maybe our normal time would be about 10-ish and sleep till you know seven in the morning i'm hoping that will be the end of the jet lag we usually get over it pretty quick actually so we'll see how we go on tonight but yes i've got a really super busy day today so my we've got a very elderly relative who's very poorly has become very poorly while we've been away it's my husband's stepmom's husband partner so um, we've got to see him today. We've also got to see Dave's mum. We normally take her shopping on a Monday for grocery shopping and she usually gets her cash out of the machine, etc. Um, and we've also got to pick our grandson up from school at quarter past three. 
And on top of all that, we're picking a new car up today. I ordered a new car in September, October, and it's finally come ready to be delivered. So um, that happened while we're away, of course, that's law. So we've got to pick that up as well this morning. And I have a doctor's appointment at 5.20. So yeah, <laughs> so I thought I'd pop on, say hello, and just do a little bit of uh, catching up. Um, my doctor's appointment, I just before we went away to Australia, I started with a little bit of a sore throat, nothing major. <clears throat> and I've not been unwell with it while I've been away, but it's not going away. It's very much on one side here. Um, and when I sleep at night, I'm really struggling to swallow. Not during the day, but just at night, I seem to sort of get gunky stuff in my throat during during the night. And I'm drinking water all through the night to try and swallow. So I think six weeks is long enough for a sore throat. So I'm going to go to the doctors and just get that checked out. I'm sure it's something or nothing. Maybe I need antibiotics or something like that. But I'm going to go and get that checked out. So yeah, that's my, <clears throat> that's my busy day. So I hope you're all well. I'm just doing a minimal makeup today. I, um, as I say, I've got a busy day and we've got to get off soon. So just a bit of the Burn Minerals Complexion Rescue to even out my skin tone. I've got a little bit of a tan, although I stayed out of the sun very much. I'm more SPF 50 every day, but I have got a little bit of a tan, so that's good. Because um, I said to my daughter, I don't think you can tell I've been away. And she said, you can, you've, got, you've definitely got a little bit of a tan. So I'm due a hair wash um, tomorrow. So today I just thought I would pop my hair up. Just dead easy. Um, I've just got it up in a clip. It's grown quite a bit while I've been away and it's got very blonde. When I was in the EE shop yesterday, I noticed a super drug next door. So I popped in and got some of the, is it Charles Worthington purple shampoo? Somebody told me that it's really good for getting rid of any brassiness. So I'm going to treat my hair once a week with that. I'm trying to keep the, the blonde nice and blonde and not, not yellow. Let's see how I'll go with that. I'll report back on that because I never used it before. I think it was five ninety nine for the shampoo and conditioner if you're a, if you're a super drug member. So I didn't think that was too bad, and it will last stages because, as I said, purple shampoo is very drying, and so I will only use it once a week, uh, maybe less than that because I only wash my hair twice a week. So, so yeah, that's where I'm up to. I feel like I've not spoken to you for ages. I'm looking forward to catching up, having a a catch up. Um, I will show you my car when I've picked it up, which will be exciting. It's a dark grey one. It's a Hyundai, or Hyundai, I think you pronounce it, uh, Kona. And it's a hybrid one. We, we didn't feel quite ready to go for a full electric car, but this is a hybrid one. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about, I mean, I, I say excited. Dave gets excited about cars, I really don't. I mean, I like a nice car, but once I've been driving it a week, I kind of just see it as something to get me from A to B. I'm not a massive car person, but he is. So um, yeah, that'd be nice. So I'll catch up with you when we pick the car up and um, yeah, I'll film all any interesting bits and pieces throughout the week. I'll see you soon, bye. Good morning, so it's Tuesday morning. Um, I didn't show you any pictures of my car yesterday, but we did pick the new car up um, and I'll pop some photographs in for you that we took. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you what a miserable day is. <laughs> Welcome back from Australia. Um, we had a lovely day the day we arrived. It wasn't too bad at all, but today it's wet, it's cold, it's windy. It's just grey and miserable. It just feels very grey after all those huge blue skies. So. This morning, I've done two loads of washing already. I have, what else have I done? I've dropped my grandson at school this morning early. Um, I've, I've exercised, which is part of my new sort of commitment for April. So I've done that. I'm just about to have a shower and wash my hair. So when I'm feeling fit to go up in front of the camera, I will um, pick up the camera again when I'm ready. And, and looking a bit more acceptable. So I'll be back with you soon. I just thought I'd show you quickly what I'm dealing with in this room. <laughs> so obviously suitcases are still in here, all the clean clothes, because being as I stayed with my sister-in-law and brother, um, everything was washed before we left. So I only had a couple of uh, dirty items which were washed and on the uh, 
made them in here um but yeah i've literally thrown these onto the spare bed hoping um that i can get to them this week and sort them out once rearrange my wardrobe put the spring and summer stuff back in there get rid of the heavy winter stuff although the weather is still very grey and miserable i'm hoping it's going to warm up so yeah i just thought i'd show you real life of the spare bedroom at the moment so it's going to be sorted my son is coming home for a visit in september and so this room will be reorganized for when he comes back just thought i'd show you the the reality of coming back off holiday for after five weeks well i'm looking a little bit more presentable now i've just had a shower and washed my hair just blown it with my round brush um it's grown quite a lot while i've been away look at my roots um but i've just used my uh, purple charles worthington purple shampoo which has really taken the brassiness out i think it's the chlorine in the sun over there but it's really nice to be back I, I wouldn't say we're kind of over the jet lag yet um i filmed a video this morning for you which you'll have seen now it was tuesday favorites and i felt a bit all over the place you'll probably be able to tell so excuse the um <laughs> quality of that um but it's nice to be back it's nice to be back in my own bed and my own home um my daughter had done a wonderful job everything was lovely and clean and tidy when we came back which i really appreciated um and i got a really nice um scent diffuser is that what they call scent diffusers yeah i think so um from my sister-in-law at christmas and i've been saving it for when i came back from holiday to put in the lounge and i put it in a couple of days ago and oh my goodness it's so lovely as we walk in the room we can both smell it so i will be thanking her when i say i've already thanked her but i will be thanking her but let me just show you because it's so pretty as well to look at it just fits really nicely in this room so let me turn the camera around so it's this one it's a senses one um not sure what the flavor is but it's like an amber color i think it might be an amber one actually it's bigger than it looks um let me put my hand there so you can see the the size of it so it's about as big as my hand but yeah really beautiful scent um a really nice big um scent holder so i'm just i'm hoping it will last me a while but yeah i'm really enjoying that since i came back from holiday i definitely will be going having a look if they've got any different scents i might treat myself to another one for sure if i find it i'll link it for you below okay it's what time is it 12.07. I haven't had any, anything to eat yet today. I've had a cup of black tea and that's all. Um, you remember me talking about fasting um, before I went away and, I, and I, I have done it successfully in the past and then I did it before I went to Australia and then sort of fell off the bandwagon but while I've been away in Australia, as I said, I've had a sore throat um, and I went to the doctors last night because I've had this sore throat for about six weeks. Um, just I'm mentioning this in case anybody else has had anything similar because it surprised me what she what she said so it it's kind of sore just on one side I don't feel unwell I haven't lost any weight but when I'm asleep in bed at night I get horrible stuff in my throat and my tongue gets very dry I just don't feel great when I wake up in the morning so as I said I went to the doctors last night and she said she thinks because I suffer really badly from acid reflux and heartburn I always have done actually for a long time and she thinks that the acid reflux is causing me to have a sore throat um she thinks that's what it is um so it's so it's coming up and sort of affecting me here and yeah so that's what she thinks it is she said the next step would be to, to have a camera to look down but she's she would really like me to try some strong um acid reflux medication medication so it's lansoprol which i've taken before however she's given me two 25 milligram tablets every day for a month and she wants to see if that clears everything up if it does it might be a case that i need to stay on a, a lower dose of the lansoprol for you know long term which is fine uh, but one thing she said to me was how do you, what's your sort of pattern of eating and i've said to you before that if i eat in the evening really doesn't do me any favours. It gives me lots of heartburn. I struggle to digest it and I don't have a good night's sleep. So I try not to eat after about seven o'clock. So she said, well, I want you to do that for this month. Please try not to eat after seven because particularly people who suffer from acid reflux, your body needs time to digest and get rid of all the food. I think it's 
I think the 16-8 diet is recommended for, for everybody, but particularly if you suffer with acid reflux. And she said she wanted me to sort of try and do 16 hours without any food. So I finished eating about seven o'clock last night. It was perhaps 10 past seven. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Sorry, I need my fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. So I've done about 17 hours now without any food. Like I say, I had a black tea this morning, but I am going to try, even if it's only during the week, to try and stick to that 16, 8, just so that this settles down. Hopefully my, my sore throat will go and um, I won't have to be taking sort of Rennies every two minutes and things. So um, we'll see how it works. But as I said, I've not eaten anything yet. So it's lunchtime now. I'm going to have um, a bagel with... Um, some uh, cream cheese on I think um, and some salad um, so I'm going to do that now because um, I'm really ready to eat and a big glass of water I think as well I'm also going to try and avoid fizzy drinks she said fizzy drinks are not great and alcohol well I know that alcohol is not great for acid reflux and I drank far more than I normally would while I was away <laughs> went to lots of parties lots of socialising lots of barbecues birthday parties went to the pub a lot so yeah, I did drink too much and that, you know, that will stop now I'm back at home. So I'm going to try and avoid alcohol, anything super spicy and any fizzy kind of drinks seem to set me off. So I'm going to try and avoid those. Um, the other thing is I mentioned that I had not had any problem with gluten while I was in Australia. Um, so I ate basically um, fresh bakery bread, which was made with unrefined flour and I was fine. So since I came back, I've continued to eat ordinary bread just to see. And so far, so good. I've not had any reaction. I don't know whether, is it something you can grow out of or is it just something that um, I, I, I've no idea. But while the going's good, I'm going to continue to eat very heavily seeded, fresh bread um, as much as possible. I don't eat loads of bread, but when I do, I want to try and enjoy it if I can. So... That's my plan going forward with the gluten-free. Um, the plant-based, we had a plant-based meal last night. We're going to eat plant-based as much as possible. I might have the odd egg. I might have the odd piece of fish. But generally, my diet's going to be mainly based around uh, plant-based foods. So that's where I'm up to with that. So I'm going to ha have some breakfast, uh, some lunch. Well, breakfast, lunch, and I'll catch up with you later. It's a bit later in the afternoon now. I've had my lunch um, and I've done all my washing that I had to do. Um, and there was something I meant to mention to you this morning and I forgot about it. So I thought I'd upon and mention it. Um, while I've been away, I've also been using another of the Imin products. I don't know if you remember, but I had um, an eye lotion, an eye serum and an eye cream that they sent me to review, which I'm really enjoying. And they're lasting forever. Um, but also they sent me this one. Let me just grab my glasses and then I can read what it says on the side to you. Excuse the washing on the bed, but I've been washing. Um, so this is uh, Firm and Sculpting Neck Cream. Um, so it comes in this little pot like this. Um, as I said, it was sent to me. I'm not being paid for my opinion and um, they just asked me to review the product I wanted to show it to you so this is the consistency it's like a quite a lightweight cream and you just apply it to your neck area and I've been using it every day as part of my doesn't really smell of anything as part of my sort of routine in Australia and I've been putting my body butter on I've been doing this and then putting my makeup on just as I don't know really it just felt like a nice pampering thing to do um again it's a big pot and it's as you can see i've not used tons and tons you don't need a lot and it does feel really nice and moisturizing i, I don't know about you but i tend to neglect my neck when i'm doing skincare i try to remember to put leftovers down my neck but i do forget and so i've been using this now i wouldn't say that it's I don't know really. I don't think it's had any effect on the lines and wrinkles on my neck. I think what I've enjoyed about the product is that it's kind of been a nice ritual to add into my routine. So, you know, whenever I've had a shower and I've been getting ready in the mornings or even in the evenings, I've just been putting some of this cream on and it feels like I'm taking care of my neck. 
at the very least it feels much more moisturised than it did before. Um, yeah, I mean I'm 57 and I've got a saggy neck, you know what you're going to do, but the fact that I'm doing this feels like I am doing something for my neck. I know you're supposed to sort of use this motion rather than this motion and I also forget to do that as well, but just thought I'd pop on and mention it because I'm finding it really quite nice. Um, it's available on Amazon. I will link it for you. Um, they're cruelty free as well. Um, as I said, no scent, no discernible scent, you know, just a cream smell kind of thing. But um, yeah, quite enjoying using that. So I just thought I'd mention it to you. Good morning on Wednesday. So I'm out of breath. I've just exercised, which is three days in a row, which is a, a good run for me because I I'm soon persuaded not to do it, so I'm really trying hard to keep up with that. So my husband tells me that keeping your muscles is the most important thing. So I've been doing some exercises with some little hand weights. Um, yeah, I've got you high up because uh, we've got children walking to school and trying not to show them. But I just wanted to show you that it's a little bit brighter today. I've got to take the uh, the good days, haven't we? So yeah, not as windy, a little bit brighter, not sunny, but it's trying. <laughs> So yeah, I might even pop to Morrison's later on. I need some uh, yogurt and something else, a couple of things. So um, I might do that later on. But yeah, I'm going to get myself ready and then I'm going to prep. So just thought I'd show you what I'm dealing with, with in here. So I did have a bit of a sort out before I went as far as long sleeve tops and t-shirts, which I will wear through the spring, um, you know, layers. Um, I've got a denim jacket and a green jacket that I will wear as well. Um, <clears throat> but this section needs organising. I've got a couple of, <coughs> excuse me, my throat's still scratchy, but it feels better than it did, so that's good. Uh, a couple of black, the black and the grey cardigan I'm going to get rid of because they're so ball and they drive me mad every time I wear them. Um, but this area desperately needs a, a bit of a sort out. As you can see, for me, it's quite it's quite messy. I want to remove all the heavy winter boots. Um, I also have ordered a... Um, scarf and belt hanger this basket that you can see here has mainly got belts and scarves in and i just feel like it takes up room that doesn't need to be taken up so i'm going to have an organizer of this area um and i'll show you when it when it i've finished i'm waiting for the hanger to come so that uh, i can put my scarves and my belts on it should come today i've ordered it from amazon so yeah so that's what i'm doing this morning okay i'm looking a little bit more presentable um I've just dry shampooed my hair. I only washed it yesterday, so it's it's fine. It's still very straight from yesterday. I've got my glasses on today because I'm working on my laptop this afternoon and I just can't see with my contact lens. So glasses. Um, I'm working on a really exciting new project actually for my Etsy shop. Um, I won't tell you too much about it now, but once I have it up and running, I'll definitely share that with you. So I'm working on that. Um, I'm waiting for the hanger to come for the scarf so that I can start doing the declutter in that corner so i want that first before i do that um i also need to go into this bare bedroom and organize those clothes that were just dumped there they are clean but they need ironing organizing dividing up i've got a couple of things i want to put on vintage because i took them away with me never worn them and brought them back and i think that probably means that i'm not going to wear them so i'm going to post those on Vinted. What else have I got on my list? Oh, I need to make an another doctor's appointment. I um, asked the doctor to reduce down my HRT before I went to Australia because I was thinking, do I still need to be on it? You know, I'm, I'm really in two minds about it. I'd love to know your experiences of it. But I'd, I'd re I've reduced it from 50 milligrams to 25 for the patches and still on the 100 grams uh, tablet. And I'm waking up in the night. Now, whether it's because of jet lag, I don't know, but I have noticed my sleep is not as good as it was. And I've read lots of stuff about it being really good for your bones, um, osteoarthritis, which I suffer from, as you know, and um, brittle, is it brittle bones? Um, I've forgotten the name. You'll be screaming at me, but I can't remember. Anyway, it's supposed to be good for all that. So I think what I'm going to do is make a telephone appointment with the doctor and ask her to put it back up again and just give it another 12 months and then review the situation. So that's what I'm going to do about that. I've got a little list here. That's what I'm looking at. Um, yeah, I've got to cook a curry as well. They've requested a curry tonight, so I'm going to do that. Um, and I also need to plan some video content going forward. So I've got a busy day. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on with that. I'll pick you, you back up when I'm doing something a bit more exciting.
sorting through my bags and sorry I got you balanced on the windowsill. I bought this while I was away which I really like. I wore it with jeans. Uh, one night I wore jeans to go out in and it's got like a double loop on the front like a gold double loop so no fastening you just push it through and clip the clip that in but yeah really nice again that was a Kmart bargain so I'm gonna put my belts to one side as well and just work my way through my scarves. This is a new one, I haven't worn it yet. I bought it from Vinted. It was new with the tags on and it's a poetry one. Lovely and lightweight and it's got like this peach, dark peach with a white spot and then black and white spots. I thought that might go with a couple of different different outfits just to brighten them up. So yeah, that's a nice one. And I do I will wear that I'm sure. This is the Oliver Bonus one that I travelled with, which was great on the plane and in the airport, especially in Dubai where you've got and kind of got to be covered up. Um, so yeah, that again, that's sort of a mid-weight one. So if it's a cooler day, I might wear that one. Um, this one tends to be my winter scarf. I know it's only thin, but it, it's sort of those, I just feel like it brightens up a, a black outfit or a navy blue outfit, just gives it a little bit of something with the pink in and the plum. And I've got quite a lot of those colours. So again, that one I'm gonna keep. This one I've had for years, I never wear it, so that's going to go to the charity shop. Um, and then I'm going to go through my belts. So that's a bag strap that goes with my Lily London bag. So I've got the navy one on at the moment, um, which took away with me. And then this one. And of course, I've got the black one and I've got the uh, leopard print strap on that at the moment. I've also got the... Um, gold straps which did come in handy I took one with me on my holiday you get one with each of those bags and um I wore that for an evening out on the navy one and it looked really nice just glad I'd taken that um what else is in here this is a black belt that goes with my black dress which I don't want to get rid of in case I do want to wear it but I've got a feeling I'm going to put my own belt on the black dress so yeah oh you're a bit wonky there let me straighten you up that's better yeah, so I'm going to work my way through the rest of these and then, can you see my head? Oh dear, we're having, we're having issues this morning with the tripod. Okay, that's better. So, um, I have a navy belt, which comes in really handy. This is a Matt Spencer's, oh no, it's not. It's a leather belt though, and it's from King & Co. I think I might have picked it up in a charity shop actually, but yeah, that's a really nice looking belt. Show you a little bit closer up with the gold hardware on. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, this leopard print belt I wear a lot. You'll have seen me try it on in a couple of try on videos. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, this is, I bought this at the same time as the navy one. This is a gold one, a red one in the same, same colours with the gold hardware. So again, a really nice belt. They're more waist belts rather than jean belts. This is one I've had for quite a few years. It's um, it's real leather. It's a black, like um, like a almost like a Western belt with a silver buckle and silver hardware. I'd forgotten I got it actually. It does fit around my waist, but it would. I don't think it would fit on jeans. It wouldn't. I might let that one go to the charity shop. So that can go with the scarf. Um, I've got this belt which I really like again a leather one it's a Stephen Collins one and it's kind of um like a, uh, like a snake skinny type crocodile type belt um again this is a this is a waist belt so if I wear it on the waist it wouldn't fit on my hips or around jeans but I'll keep that one it's always good to have a, a black belt then I've got a very thin black belt from next Again, it's got like this little fine print on, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so yeah, I will keep that. Again, I think that's a waist belt. Yes, it is. Um, and then the two belts I got from uh, Amazon before I went away. Um, so I've got the black one, which kind of, sorry, I've got lip gloss on and it's sticking to my lipstick. My hair's sticking to my lipstick. Uh, you know, the simplest things seem beyond you. I'm having one of those today. Yeah, no, it just fastens like that. And I've got the same one in uh, town. 
So I'm going to keep all those. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this basket yet. It's just like a, a spare one. What I am going to do is clean that corner, give it a good fact. Um, hang around until my new hanger comes because it's got it's got hooks at the bottom for belts and then the holes for putting your scarves through. I've probably got scarves downstairs as well in the cloakroom cupboard. So I'm going to go and have a look at those. Okay, I'm halfway through my sorting. If I could... If I turn the camera around, you really wouldn't want to see what kind of a mess we're in. But anyway, ignore that. I've just got as far as the top of my uh, presser in the walk-in wardrobe and the empties box is full. So I thought, well, instead of just chucking them, I just quickly go through them with. There's nothing very exciting, I don't think. So this is the Tesco Extract Soothing Muscle Soak Bath Foam. Yeah, fine. Nothing exciting about it, but I don't know how you feel about bath products, but... I buy high-end stuff and I buy the cheaper end of stuff as well. And I really don't find that it's a massive difference. I guess if you went to sort of the Laura Mercier, Honey Bath, things like that, I realise are expensive. I wouldn't buy those for myself. It would have to be a present. Um, but yeah, I just work my way through these cheaper ones wherever I happen to be. If I'm in Aldi, I'll buy the Aldi one. Um, don't know whether this is an Aldi one. This might be a be a, an M one or a home bargains one. That's the sleep one. Very nice. They enjoyed it. Nothing, nothing special. Um, this is the Dorma Purity Calm Days Luxury Pillow Spray. I get this from Dunnell. <clears throat> We've had two of these. Really enjoy them. So um, this one is Organic Extracts of Lavender and Rosemary. So next time I'm in, I'm in Dunnell, <clears throat> I'll pick one of those up. I'm actually looking for some new spring bedding, both for my room and for the spare room. Um, so I might be going in Dunelm and if I do, I'll pop in and get one of those because they smell delicious. That's an empty Lacura hairspray. I really like this spray, it's fine. I'm using the more expensive, what's it called? No, nope. I've had to swap around in my drawers and so I'm opening the wrong drawers every time I come in here. Um, the Elnet one I'm using at the moment, which is lovely, uh, but actually I don't mind this either, it's fine. Um, I don't use loads of hairspray because I quite like my hair to move and I, I run my fingers through it a lot. So yeah, it's fine, but um, I don't mind the cheaper ones either. An empty, as always, an empty uh, Body Shark Chamomile Cleansing Butter. Um, my very favourite to take my makeup off, Second Cleanse. Um, I don't think... I think somebody left a comment for me saying that they thought the body shop was just online now, which is fine because I always order online anyway. So I'm halfway through the second one. I usually order a couple at a time. Um, so I've had it in Australia. So that's about a month and I've probably got a month, a month left. Um, so, yeah. I always have those. I always have those in. Sorry, I'm getting notifications on my phone and it's distracting me. My usual Garnier Skin Active Simply Essential Soothing 2-in-1 Makeup Remover for face, eyes and lips. I love this. It's my favourite. It's the Biphase one that shake. Um, I've got a couple of extra ones in my cupboard because I keep thinking they're going to disappear, but I do keep seeing them in Home Bargains and B&M, those kind of places. I love this for a first cleanse. It really takes my mascara off and then I go in with the Chamomile Cleansing Lotion uh, Butter as a second cleanse so that's that one um this was a hand cream um i bought these in a pack of three and i think i got them from tk maxx the french vervine aguum jean en provence i'm working my way through them um they're not brilliant actually they're a bit greasy but they're fine to use on my feet so that's what i've been using them for so i'm working my way through those um this was a little clura healthy glow glycolic toner as you know i like these i like the other one as well the blue one i can't remember what the name of it is let me just have a look which one i've got on the go at the moment oh no it's in the other drawer so i can't i can't tell you about that but i do buy the liqueur ones i like them all everyone i've tried so yeah i always have one of those on the go i've got a new one in the bathroom at the moment this was the uh garnier ultimate blends creamy nourishing shampoo it was fine same old same old i really struggled to get the uh, shampoo right at the top with my arthritic hands so I probably won't buy that again and just an empty box from the velvet liquid blush I bought 
bought from Amazon before I went away. Do you remember the very pink one? I've used that all the time I've been away. It's lovely, but you've got to be very sparing with it. You put slightest amount too much on, you end up looking really, really pink cheek. So I do like it, but um, yeah, you've got to be really careful with it. And that's the colour on the end there. So yeah, those are my empties for this month. Okay, so it's later in the day now. Um, I've kind of got rid of all the clothes that were on the bed. I've ironed for a full hour, which is unknown. I never iron. Um, I'm still waiting for my hanger to hang my um, scarves and belts and things up. But I thought I might show you what I've done so far in the wardrobe. Let me just turn you around. Okay, so I've hung all my blouses up. That little pile underneath is Dave's shorts and things. I just want him to tell me where he wants them. And I've hung all the longer items here, dresses, etc. Now, what I've noticed while I've been hanging all this up is <laughs> there's lots of white, um, but lots of colour as well. And I don't kind of want to limit myself in the summer to different, you know, to a sort of capsule colour, four or five colours. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm quite happy with this. I'm going to see how it works for me. Um, lots of blouses, lots of long sleeve t-shirts and some jackets and lightweight jumpers. Over here, quite a few dresses, some linen trousers. I um, bought some bits and pieces while I was in Australia, so I'm not going to go into detail because I'm going to do a video for you this week. I've moved all the rubbish from down here and just got my trainers there at the moment. Um, so on Thursday, you'll probably have seen it when this video goes up, I'm going to do a, a what I bought in Australia clothing-wise um, and just show you how I've been styling that. So I think that might be quite an interesting video. So yeah, that's it for today. I am shattered. My back's hurting because I've been stood ironing in. So I'm going to relax for a couple of hours, uh, get dinner on the go. Um, and yeah, I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Okay, it's much later now. Um, the Amazon hangers took a while to come. I think they were six ninety nine for a pack of two. And they're just these little pink um, circles with the hooks on. Uh, and you can push scarves through the holes and then hang your belts on the hooks. So what I've done is I've used one for scarves. Um, still lots of room on there. And I've hung all my belts on this one. To be honest with you, I'm not 100% sold on this belt idea because I feel like they still look a little bit messy. But they do hang on the hanger and um, it does keep them tidy for now. They're not in a box. I'm not rooting around trying to find them. So, yeah. Uh, just thought I'd show you those before I got into bed. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. Let me apologise first if you have any background noise. My husband is fitting my daughter a new bathroom and so at the minute he's chipping the tiles off the floor on the wall so it's quite noisy he's using, a, using the drill. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to have to pick my times for filming today. So I've just put my makeup on and um, I'm going to use my new, I got some new straighteners before I went away. These ones, I just got them off Amazon. My other ones were just sort of dragging through my hair. These are called Anginil. Anginil. And I didn't get a chance to use them because I didn't go away with them because my sister-in-law has straighteners that I use while I'm there. So I'm trying this technique that I've seen lots of girls using where they sort of just wave the hair. So it's kind of this, 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 and, you know, just sort of to get that sort of crinkly look rather than trying to curl it. Um, I'm on third day hair, so it needs a curl in it because it just is very limp and flat, if not. Um, but the underneath section, I've literally just been going like this um, because all I want is some body underneath rather than it sitting flat and then I'll take more care and attention of the bits that sit on top and that everyone sees. I've got to go out early, well early-ish, I've got a doctor's appointment this morning so I'm getting, I'm up and ready early. Um, what forgot to do today, I've got my little list here on the go. Um, this is the list that uh, Janie from Just Janie bought me when we did our Galentine's uh, present swap. I've used it every day, it's been so useful. I like the shape of it, I like the fact that it's easy to tear. It's just cute, I enjoy using it. So this morning I've got blood test, I've got a vintage parcel to post, 
I switched my vintage account back on when I came back. And so I've got that to post. Um, I've got to go to Morrison's today. Morrison's is, is very near where I dropped my parcels off. So even though Morrison's is probably not my favourite shop. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pop in Morrison's. Just put some heat protectant on. I'm using this Tresemme one at the moment. Tresemme Care and Protect Spray Heat Defense. Just because it was reasonable, I thought I would give it a try. I think I might have used it before, actually. So just a... I'd already sprayed the bottom bit. So I'm going to have a go now at doing these kind of wavy... Uh, wavy bends. And they just... The girls I've watched have kind of just curled the front pieces just so that it gives a bit more definition. I don't know whether I've got the action right or not. I'll try again. That's better. I think I need to be a bit more a bit more forceful when I do it. So let me show you. That one worked quite well. So let's try a piece here. How is everybody this morning? I hope you're well. It's Thursday morning here. Um, I the, the weather's not great, but it's not awful, awful either. It's not pouring down. Um, looking forward to driving my new car this morning. Um, yeah, we're all good. As I said, sorry for the background noise. I'm sure you can hear it. Um, it's just something we're gonna have to put up with, I think, because He's only got so long to do it before he goes off and does a different job for somebody else. So, yeah, bit of a pain. Well, there you go. This is real life. Um, is anybody watching anything good at the moment on TV? We, since we came back from Australia, we're struggling to find anything that we that we that we're enjoying. I don't know whether we've just not got the whether we're still jet lagged and we haven't got the right concentration span. Not sure, but. Anybody can recommend anything. The last good thing we watched, we watched The Gentleman in Australia with my brother. Um, and we really enjoyed that. Yeah, and so, oh, that's right. And I don't think it is actually. I think it needs to be, the bend needs to be further down. Let's straighten that out again. It's all very much trial and error. leave that to cool down I feel like when I do this I, it ends up just looking a big messy mess whereas if I curl it you see I think what I'm going to do is go back through the top section leave the bottom section wave it and just put a bit of a bend curl in the top section it's getting long as well now so it needs a little bit more something going on um yeah, I've just also wanted to mention to you um, a company called Dermatic. I'll show, I'm sure you've heard of them. They're a skincare brand. Um, sent me this. Um, I've used it a couple of times. Um, it says on the information, one step powerful ingredients, non-stop re results. Now, as you know, I've used one of these um, sort of prescribed skincare brands before and didn't work for me but this company when I read, the, read what they said it says our dermatology experts have designed a plan for you based on your skin right now and your goals for the future remember we're here for every step of the way on your journey to healthy skin and um, so they suggest that you how you use this formula is you cleanse so you start to use a gentle cleanser, then apply one to two pumps of the prescription cream uh, and then moisturise afterwards. And I did that uh, last night and the night before. Um, so far, I'm not getting any kind of breakout on my skin. I told you, I think I told you in the last, with the last one, I got so much downtime with my skin. It got very dry and uncomfortable and difficult to apply makeup over the top that I gave up with it. So. I don't know whether this will work for me or not, um, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a month. Um, 
it's very much a treatment that expires because they, they actually they accidentally sent it me while I was away in Australia. And when I came back and contacted the lady in charge, she just said, oh, no, don't use that one. It'll be expired. We'll send you a fresh one. So that makes me think that they, they're using very sort of fresh ingredients. So anyway, I am going to give it a try. I will leave. I've got discount code, which I will leave down below for you. Um, if you want to give it a try. Maybe we could try it together and um, yeah, I'm going to try it and see what I think. So let me go away and concentrate on this mess of a hair and I'll come back to you. Okay, I'm back. I've got some plummy coloured lipstick on to suit my, to go with that top I'm wearing. Just let me check the colour for you because somebody always asks. Um, this is Highland Mist Moisture Drench uh, and it's from... Boots, so Boots Highland Mist number seven moisture drench is my lipstick. This is the best I'm going to do with my hair today. I've just stuck some salt spray through it and some um, hairspray and then tomorrow will be a, a wash day. So it looks better than it did anyway. So I am not stressing about it. <laughs> okay, I've got to get my bag together, get myself ready to go out. Um, when I come back, I'm going to film a clothes video. So you'll see, you'll have seen that on Thursday this week. Um, it's going to be um, just the things I bought in Australia and how I styled them and how I'm planning to style them through the spring and summer months here. So watch out for that one. Well, you, 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 you should have already seen it when this one comes out. So yeah, I'll be back with you later. Okay, super quick outfit of the day. I've got on my uh, Land's End hoodie burgundy one with the drawstring at the waist and pockets and this zip and like a floppy neck which I quite enjoy um I've just got yoga pants on stretchy yoga pants I'm going to exercise when I come back and I've also got my sketches trainers on I'm just going to pop a gilet over the top very practical outfit for today so catch up with you later okay it's lunchtime. I'm back from Aldi I just thought, being as I'm putting stuff shopping away, I'd do a quick Aldi haul for you. Um, so I've got two tins of the peaches in juice. I didn't go for a massive shop, but just the stuff I like to get from Aldi. Um, these are 99p, I think, um, and they're nice. Uh, so I have I tend to have those in my breakfast cereal with yogurt in the morning. Those there. Um, the... <clears throat> The packet rice is cheaper in Aldi than anywhere. Not seen the egg fried one before. Oh, it was knock the door. <coughs> yeah, I've not seen the egg fried one before. So I got that one and I got the golden veg rice, which is, we sort of share a packet of this sometimes in the evening. And they were 49p, which I think is a really good price. The passata in Aldi is 45p. Got a couple of those. Um, I got some brown sauce. Dave really likes this brown sauce from Aldi and it's 69p I think it is, so it's cheaper than anywhere else. He also enjoys these Harvest Crunch maple syrup cereal bars. So I got one of those. I think there's, there's a five plus two, I think there's seven in there. Some bananas and some spring onions. We really enjoy the pickled pink onions, so I got some of those. We usually have them on sandwiches at lunchtime. Sorry, I keep getting inter oh, interrupted. I had mentioned the pickled onions. We got some baby plum tomatoes today. I don't really eat fresh tomatoes. I much prefer tomatoes cut. Let me show this stuff. Um, I've what else did I get? I got some uh, toothpaste. This was 99p. I got some vegetable stock cubes. I got some biscuits. The jam and cream is a day's favourite. So I got those for him. Um, I thought I'd try this. This is new in Aldi. It's the no chicken slices. I think it was one thirty-five. The the raw was at least two pounds in Tesco and Morrison's etc. So I thought we'd give those a go. Got some peppers. Not very exciting at all. Um, some uh, multi-seeded bread. And uh, they asked for something fruity. He always has either um, uh, hot cross buns or fruit loaf or something like that. I thought I'd try these as well. I, I like the French fries, the Walker's French fries, but they're expensive. Uh, these were one thirty, I think, for 10 packets. So we've got the three flavours in stock. I'll give them a go. And last but not least, I spotted these candles and they were 89p, which I've not seen candles. It said 29 hours burn time, so we'll see. But um, 
no, sorry, 25 hours. This is the Wild Jasmine. Smelled really good. So I got two of those because the hand is just sort of put in the bathroom and light and when I've cleaned on a Saturday morning or whatever. So yeah, that's the end of it. Um, so yeah, that's my Aldi haul. Yeah, so that's my Aldi haul. Excuse the noise in the background. There's a bath being delivered as I speak. So it's all a bit busy here, but I'll pop back to you later. Okay. It's a bit later in the afternoon. Sorry you're in a funny position. I need to buy a holder for my phone to pop in the car so I can chat to you while I'm driving. I'm not driving now, I'm parked up. Um, I'm just waiting for my grandson to come out of school uh, and then we're going to head home. I've got some frozen pizza for tea, just dead simple. I feel shattered. I don't know if it's because it's the first week back after being away, but we've kind of hit the ground running. And it's just been busy 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 so i'm going to call that a vlog i hope you've enjoyed spending the week with me um there'll be another sunday vlog next sunday um and my usual tuesday thursday videos i'm not quite sure what they're going to be yet but i'm going to kind of get up to speed and try and get in front with my videos a little bit so i'm not filming so you know it's so, so, so it's not so urgent to get them done quickly for you so yeah i will get back to normal speed but at the moment i'm feeling exhausted <laughs> so i'll say goodbye hope you enjoy the weekend and i'll see you next week bye for now